Hmm, let's see. Platoon 3 Direct. As I was technically late when it was 10 days ago. Yeah. So let's see. This is your average streamer reaction right here. Spoon 3. Yes. This is Splatsville in the heart of the Splatlands. Hmm. Despite its okay. old fashioned appearance, it's seen enormous growth in recent years. Yeah, looks nice. It's also the hottest new place for inklings looking for things to do. This is like so different compared to the desert oh, hello, uh, preview they showed Hope us. You're all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. Yeah. We're the researchers from the Squid Research Lab. Okay. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in Are you form. humans? And smoothly swim through it in swim form. I like how they're just going over the basics. Their biology day and night. Mm -hmm. They're both squids and pigs, pretty much. Today, we'd like to share some new oh. findings on these inklings while providing summaries throughout. Of course, what goes for the inklings also applies to the octolings. Mm -hmm. We're sure of it. Yeah, First, I mean, turf war. They're really similar species. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get okay. inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, cool. in a place called Splatsville, turf war battles are the locals' favorite. Okay, like, feel free to like, answer two this for me, but were hairstyles limited in minutes. Splatoons 1 and 2? The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf, wins. Because, like, was, was it possible now, to ever unlock hairstyles outside the default, I guess, presets when you first start up. the game? I, I forget, back in Splatoon 2. Or get sneaky and hide in ink hmm. to splat opponents. Okay. The more ink you spread, the bigger the advantage you'll have in battles. Whoops. If you're out of ink, submerge in it to refill. That does make sense. New techniques like the you know? squid surge to swim up walls in a single burst. Yeah. And the squid roll to jump out of ink. Nah, we only got more hairs in, in an update, fun. really. Okay. Because it would be cool oh, if, if they had, like, uh, the I don't know, like, ink from opponents. twin tails. Isn't that, like, the default character that has twin tails? Like, We've discovered tentacles. where these turf war battles will take place. Stages hmm. confirmed for the Splatlands include Scorch Gorge. Okay, okay so this is the Eel Tail Alley. Map. Mincemeat Metalworks. Mincemeat. And Undertow Spillway. Interesting. There seem to be other stages yeah. as well. It all looks Fish nice. Market. A pier filled to the bream with street vendors. The stuff here looks You just want to make though. a Miu and Splatoon 3. Hey, I'm, you got me Several there, chat. Several stages from Greater you got me Ingopolis there. also return. Okay. Museum del Foncino. Yeah. Seems like they bring back Battles some old stages. Take place in the central courtyard That'd of this nice. modern museum. So especially if they ever bring back maps from Splatoon's 1. Rotating wall. I forget they ever did that in 2. Hammerhead Bridge. This bridge connects Greater Inkopolis to the Splatlands. After lots yeah. of construction work, it's finally open. I've already lost Thanks track of how many bridge, maps they've transit announced. Transit to and from Greater Inkopolis is much lot. easier. Mahi Mahi Resort. Yeah, I can tell that they're definitely trying to put out variety. Luxury resort in Greater Inkopolis. Oh god, the frame it rate. Oh. To the platform. Do, you, do you see the frame rate on that thing? <laughs> Pay close attention to the uh, platforms that sink as the battle oh, goes man. on. There will be more that, that's areas a, to that's a Nintendo so don't quality internet them. connection if I ever saw some. Including the stages uh, you see here. A total right. of 12 await. Okay, 12 stages total. More stages will be added in and three post-launch updates. They put all the frame rate into the water and not the jellies. Now, yeah. let's get into the inky essence of battles. Weapons. Mm. First, I really wonder it appears how the that all be. the basic weapons from previous games will be available. Oh, nice. Okay. Plus more. On top of that, Splatland specific weapon types, such as the bow-like stringers, okay. will make their destructive debut. That's neat. It's like a big cross. Oh, a new nope, that, uh, that's a crossbow. Splatanas. 
Or no, that's a no. Oh, okay, that looked like crossbow, this but the that's a sword. Send okay. Of ink flying with the centrifugal force I'm not really that familiar with melee weapons in Splatoon. You can definitely tell I'm not a Splatoon slash. player. Like I will, the only as melee weapon I know is the roller. As a long -range attack. Dang. The charged slash at close range Look at is that. also quite devastating. That's a good backstab. Let's Get it because it's a, that can help you claim even a wipe, more wiper blade. Special weapons. Yeah. Okay. Wow. As are we just having mechs flies, now? These are special kinds of weapons saw? that can be unleashed after filling up huh. the gauge from inking okay. turf. So pretty much your ultimate. There are some new types we've identified. Nice. So let's take a closer look. This I is can. the tactic cooler. When oh. it's activated, <laughs> okay. a fridge appears. It's a refrigerator. In-game beverages stored inside. That, These okay, have that's an in-game market. Effects, Wait, hold on. Like momentarily in I just wanted to look at the cereal. Increasing speed. Nice textures. They come in packs of four, so take one and share the rest with oh, your teammates. Oh, that's nice. This is the wave breaker. Please show it up for everyone. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. It'll also mark an opponent's location and cause damage. It looks Try like a ice a cream cone. Jump. Or actually, no, it looks like Finally, that one... The I don't know, that one ball cup power, thing where you have to like, grab it. Into opponents who need a good splat. Once the attack okay. ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. Wow. Familiar special weapons, like the Tenta missiles, mm -hmm. ink jet... And I know those. Ink Storm. I do remember those from Splatoon 2. Ultra Stamp. I think and Booyah Bomb Hannah. will also make their grand return. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Special weapons are paired with main weapons. Mm. So find the combo that suits your splatting style. Okay, so you can mix and match them? Interesting. Shop here to get your tentacles on some fresh weapons. This is Ammo Knights, owned by the chatty oh, horseshoe Sheldon. crab, Sheldon. The locals have praised him for his wealth of weapon wisdom and sophisticated mm -hmm. selection. Very good for him. He has a good business Instead going. Instead of using in-game currency for purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. Sheldon license, really? Obtain them by leveling up through battles. Okay. And by consistently using the same weapons. That's neat. One Sheldon license encourages the player to level up. For one weapon that corresponds to your level. Really, only one. Oh, and just between okay, us, and there's more. if you exchange more Sheldon licenses yeah. than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. I see. He'll give you something better. That's nice. By the way, the Inklings and Octolings walking around wow. town are pretty savvy about their Is that a squid afro? Things like headgear, clothing, and shoes are just as important as weapons uh, to staying the fresh in Splatsville. The bribery, yeah. Pretty much with Sheldon. Gear can be obtained in the shops around here. Did they expand Each the shops? Each one is managed by an interesting shopkeeper. So let's drop in. Okay, like, I swear, I feel like they added more shops than this. It just looks so big. This is not Couture, a headgear shop. You'll find oh, an array shrimp. of hats, masks, and glasses, so you can get oh, ahead of the game. the face game. mask. The laid-back mm -hmm. Nautilus, Gnarly Eddie, and the energetic Nails. The snail sitting oh. here run the shop. <laughs> it's just a small detail. This is the clothes boutique, oh. Mana Wardrobe. It specializes in tops, okay. like t-shirts and jackets. So yeah, there's a shop for each type of clothing. The shopkeeper, Gel Lafleur, might Gel be a La touch Fleur. archaic with words. Sounds French. But this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. Hmm. And finally, the shoe store crush station. Get Mr. a variety Mr. of cool Coco. kicks here, from sneakers to sandals and even leather footwear. Big boy, yeah. It's owned like by Larry Mr. the Lobster. Coco. He might look intimidating, but deep down, he's a nice guy. You could literally just Probably. recolor him and call him Larry. Just remove his tank top. You're more than welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance. But they do yeah. come with abilities that can help you out in battle. Oh, I see. Take run speed up, for example. It can increase your running speed. 
Ooh, that looks nice. Or intensify action. This improves the squid roll and squid surge moves. There are even more abilities oh. to discover. Okay. Plus, the there's slum, a fellow honestly. in Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. Really? <laughs> Talk to Merch here, and you can add an ability of your choosing to your favorite gear. Huh. Okay, I see. Just more bribery. And if you save your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits, okay, you can, save you can precepts. change in a flash. I don't remember Splatoon 2 having Flavor up your fashion with whatever outfits you want. That's Simply neat. Splat-tastic. <laughs> Welcome to the lobby, a gathering spot for those seeking fresh battles. That place definitely looks a lot more bigger than what I saw Turf in Splatoon 2. battles aren't the only things that happen here. You can mm -hmm. also square off in anarchy battles, where you compete for rankings. Mm. Hold the active zones in splat zones. Well, Ride the okay. tower to the goal in tower control. Carry the Rainmaker to its destination in Rainmaker. I don't remember or half of these game modes. Collect and throw clams to score in clam blitz. Especially that one. Duke it out in these I know four splat modes, zone, which but... are on rotation. Huh. Want to take on a challenge solo? How many, use, how many Select games does Anarchy Battle one series. Have or two have? But if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. Okay. You can also play private battles hmm. online. Set battle modes and other oh, options neat. to your liking. Why not play with your favorite battle modes alongside friends? So you can make custom game modes. Information about these game modes will be available soon on the game's official website. Oh, it's launching September 9th. Okay. That's when it's a, it's a month away. Huh. Okay. I'll probably now, maybe let's pick this talk up. About the features within the lobby. I can't really promise, like, on release date, this but is the eventually. Try out and get comfy with your weapons here. Mm -hmm. Besides being able to practice whenever you want, it's also a great place like, to get all warmed up. Maybe I'll pick this up digitally. For rivals to join a battle. Sweet. On birth, on birth month. Next up, Wait, what, what is ghosts. birth month? What? Online friends will appear as 3D holograms. Oh, oh, that's cool. Drop holograms. in on friends in the midst of battle and play alongside them. You can also mm -hmm. join up and start a battle on the same team. Mm. You'll be able to see what your friends are up to. It appears oh, that you can oh, also oh, your call birth out to month. Oh, okay. I, I didn't say, I didn't hear. Okay. Why not? Okay, my, my apologies. I, I, when you said birth month, I was thinking, wait, what, what, what month? Like, because like, I don't know, I've been hearing so many, like, actually no, I've been hearing too many, like, it's national insert thing day. So, so when you said like birth month, I thought, what, what is it? National birth month? Was it like the month <laughs> people gave the most birth? Oh uh, no, not, not happy birthday. Congratulations. <laughs> Next month. Okay. I had to pause just to clear that up. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh see these features for yourself. Oh hey, look, it's the cat. He's this still alive. Is where you can view battle replays. Okay. It appears that it can somewhat recreate really? recent battles. Oh, that's interesting. Fast forward. And you can pass. Wait, wait. So you're telling me the game can just skip record to a certain part. battles? For you? That's or interesting. Even swap to another player's view. I wonder if. Okay, not to say that I, I don't know if Splatoon's two or not one ever had like malicious cheers, but. I feel like if you ever have hackers in the game, you'll use this, handy tool this to yeah, this could be used up. to just catch them. Next, I mean, he we'll is immortal. And discuss yeah. This space within the lobby. I thought the he was going to get room. killed by you know the little one. Here, you'll find some fresh lockers. One is now yours, and the others belong to players with whom you recently yeah, played. pretty much. Oh As wow, you can a see, locker. You'll be able to place any acquired weapons, gear, and items to your oh, oh, that's neat. 
Slap on some snazzy people are gonna, people are gonna see how much they can stuff in color. that locker. This is your space to express yourself. Yeah. So customize it however you'd like to show off your signature splatting style. They haven't shown like us a locker that's like so messy. Oh, yes. And everything like Items crammed can in be there. Obtained at Hot Lantis, a general oh. store on the edge of Splatsville. Oh, that's oh, I like. This. Apparently, the store manager vanishes oh, quite wow. often. Oh wow! So instead, There's so much to look at in by this an place. Artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer. You got like a uh, gotcha, got an outlandish like gotcha assortment in the background. Of items. Why not show the store some love by grabbing some goods? Dang. There appear to be plenty of other customization features as well. When uh -huh. battles start, these splash tags appear. Splash tags. They can be customized with a banner. They're really going badge, hard with the customization in this title. game, which I like. I like a game with good customization. Additionally, you can change the emote your character performs uh -huh. when you win a battle. All of these can be obtained via the in-game catalog, which will be available at Hotlantis. Mm -hmm. By using points earned Not from why, battles, why, you can unlock various why? items like stuff why am I why 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 am I looking at why why following the game's launch yeah, why a new catalog is planned to be released every three months for two years oh that's cool be sure to snatch up everything you see in each catalog so yeah, don't miss out on the catalogs Phew. There's still a lot of info to share, but I need to take a little mm -hmm. breather here. In the meantime, please turn your attention toward this. Yes, thank you, human. That doesn't exist in the Splatoon world. Introducing Table Turf Battle! There's cards. Lay out your cards for a dazzling deck oh. duel! <laughs> Cards. Ink different shapes with different cards. Tetris. Charge up power. They then made their own Tetris. What is this pixelated? Like this, and even ones like Game Boy this. looking and there are over 150 cards to collect in game. <laughs> oh my so God. build your deck and send your rivals packing. Jesus. The Splatsville locals eagerly await your challenge. Wow. Table turf battle. Every player will be gifted an in-game starter deck. Okay, how do we get more? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. I lost my clampoosier for a second there. Yeah, you did. That was Table Turf Battle, a 1v1 competitive card battle spin-off of Turf War. It okay. appears you can play this at the Table Turf Battle Dojo in Splatsville. Be on the lookout for more mm -hmm. details about Table Turf Battle in the future. You've got my attention. And now, this. Oh, it's the Salmon Run. I never really played much of Salmon Run in Splatoon 2. Salmon Run is a simple job. But besides the fact that four I, I didn't really play much of Splatoon to 2 to begin with. Eggs from the Salmonids advancing on them. This part-time oh. gig is rumored to be a little oh. fishy, but it pays pretty well. By defeating particularly ferocious creatures called boss salmonids, Wait, you can obtain valuable golden eggs. Yeah, I remember hearing during, need to collect and like, we listened to a lore video for this. To complete this job. Yeah, what is up with the golden eggs? This time around, we've confirmed huh. some new types of boss salmonids, okay. so let's share our findings. First up, the Slammin Lid. It creates barriers oh. and protects salmonids on the ground. Yeah. Get too close to that it, nice. it'll attempt to crush you, so oh. approach with caution. Okay, I, I thought that would like spawn enemies. It says it's like Next, a UFO. The big shot. <laughs> the big it shot. It fires heavy projectiles oh, from man. a distance. Be prepared for powerful shock waves when they land. <clears throat> God. With new boss salmonids confirmed, a big shot. make sure you're ready for an even more Hopefully dangerous you can get on top salmon of those things. Uh, emergency. Oh. This is one I remember. I remember salmonids. hearing this. Unbelievable. It's like a god. It's it like a like Godzilla. Just before you complete the job. Or Salmonzilla. 
The tank on your back is a okay. specially provided yeah. edge cannon. And it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. Large chungus. Yeah, it However, is chungus. These battles are under a time limit. So rack up as much damage as possible to drive them back. Can you kill them? Probably. Maybe if everyone's shooting at them at once. And this. This is the still being researched big run. Hmm. We believe this is when salmonids invade the city in which oh, Icklings and Octolings live. <laughs> it appears that this event happens once every few months. So Whoa. brace yourselves. Big run is coming. <laughs> God. So dramatic. Oh, cool. You can see the other now, sisters. Now, observe this manhole mm -hmm. in Splatsville Square. Oh. This is actually hey. the entrance to the home of the Octarians, the Inklings' longtime mm -hmm. enemies. As Agent 3, the newest recruit okay, of the so new you Squid Beaks Splatoon, you'll the do story. battle with the Octarian army, okay, whose yeah. members okay, are so covered in Kelly's hair for some reason. Along with your buddy Small Fry, yep. you'll explore Kelly's. many stages, each one full of twists and turns. Oh, I almost forgot. Story mode is perfect for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. Yeah. So newer players might want to try it out. I know I played a good chunk of Splatoon well, 2. Well, we've come this far. Player. What awaits the Inklings and Octolings mm. in the end? We hope you can witness the epic finale of this splatastic okay. saga. Oh no. <laughs> and their clothes falling off when they're falling. We're back in Splatsville. From here on out, we'd like to talk it about It looks like they're bashing the story mode le levels, like the Octo expansion ones, the which is fucking game. rad. Hell yeah. You can post illustrations here via this mailbox. Oh. They'll be displayed all across the city, and even in stages. Can I please have a stylus for this? Like, Nintendo, just please. Can you just license out a stylus or something? Or, I, I don't know. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to draw using my finger. So put on your artist cap and post away. Vertical illustrations will also oh. be supported. Nice. Additionally, you can grab food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. That's neat. Or use Can't local to communication to play with in nearby folks again. in your favorite modes at the yeah. show. Yeah. By using photo mode, oh, you can snap photo selfies. Mode. I mean, hey, that's nice. Uh, it's always cool to see a photo mode in the game. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, yeah, so yeah, with the drawings things, man, I can't wait to see, like, all the horrendous stuff people will draw. And when I mean horrendous, yeah, it can be, like, good or freaking Wonka TOS. Photos to a smart device. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tread carefully if I or do. Or display them in your like, locker. Like story. This is the Recon Guide. Select your favorite oh, no. stages at any time. Like, hey, if you, if you customers around. know about the stuff that was made in Swift Note Studio, why like, not get familiar you know, with each you know, stage you know. prior to battles? I think I still have Swift Note Studio installed on my 3DS. This is Splatnet right. 3. You can Splatnet use this with your 3, smart device. Really? Oh, is this a thing where we communicate with players? It contains players? features like checking your latest battle stats. A voice chat, right? And ordering special in-game gear not sold in shops really? from the Splatnet gear shop. Wait, you but can that's actually not all. order gear from your phone? Access features like okay. Krusty Sean's Wonder Crust. Support this fellow's journey using ink points earned depending on the areas you inked during battles. Interesting. Or view history to take a trip down memory lane with your past ranks. Yeah, they really are integrating. The you can also feature. snag special wallpapers and more for your I know it was device. like a thing for like so Nintendo sure Online. So yeah. It appears that Splatnet oh, 3 yep. will be available at launch via the Nintendo Switch yep, Online I mobile it. app. I called it. Yeah, the fun fact that the exclusive uh, Nike Next collab gear you figures. could only get with Splatnet Scans 2. Two really? Series Amiibo at this All spot right. in Splatsville. And oh. voila! Saving your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. Is that that's what it? you don't get anything extra? Additionally, with Amiibo? it seems you'll be able to get special gear okay, yeah. and even snap photos together with Amiibo. Okay. And Splatoon 3 Amiibo yep. incoming! There it is. Release is scheduled for this holiday. Salmon. 
Which is now impossible to get now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I said earlier, chat, I saw yesterday how on, like, different sites, or specifically Amazon, they were selling the Cali and Marie Amiibos for, like, 24 bucks. I checked back and out a few hours later, went back up to 74 bucks. Yeah, I tell you, it's crazy. The, the Amiibos just, it never ends. I mean, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's great. Like, I love Amiibos. Like, out of all the Toys of Life stuff, just Amiibos has survived. Because they have more than one use. Let's talk about post-launch updates. As we mentioned oh. a while ago, following a the game's launch, golden a new in-game catalog will be released oh, every three cannon. months for two years. Okay. New weapons will also be added around the same time as each catalog. In addition, X Battle, available after attaining an extremely mm -hmm. high rank in Anarchy Battle, and League Battle, where every two hours you can compete in teams based on your Anarchy Battle results, okay, are so planned to be much added the... in future updates. Furthermore, for this game, sure, what we're planning it. to add large-scale paid DLC. Large-scale, really? Are we going to go More to like a different town or something? So please be on the when they say large scale, I'm going to presume now, they mean I'd another like to town. Wrap up this research report from the Squid Research Lab. Thank really you for exclusive watching. Exclusive DLC stores. And I feel like they really want to spoil you with this game. Oh. Huh? Who, who are is, you supposed who is to be? This? What? Oh. Stingray? It's wild. <laughs> okay, yep. Big cut. Big cut. Oh, man. Squid. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly yeah. popular trio who hosts the Splatsville news program, Anarchy Splatcast. Okay. They provide information on battle stages, as well as other yep, news the new mascots. I wonder how they fit into the lore. While we're on the subject, the Ooh. youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. Sea cucumber phones. Oh, they can wow. check the news while doing other activities. <laughs> that's, that's great. Shown here. Oh wow. And. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. There's your secret lore bit. How big are these towns? They're gigantic. Like seriously, they look like twice the size, or not even twice, like triple. Like the size of Splatoon's 2 lobby? Oh. Huh. yeah, that's great. I swear, he has like a bigger forehead than uh, Pearl. Like, doesn't it look like that? Okay. Well, that's great. We got new idols for Splatoon 3. Mm -hmm. It's been confirmed mm -hmm. that Splatfest will make a return. I mean, how can it not In these events, <laughs> return? You a team based on the Imagine if they released this game, be like, oh, via we we're not going to release Splatfest yet. No, and this be like, time around, <laughs> there will be later. three teams to choose from. Really? Three teams? Splatfest consists oh, wow. of two halves. In the first half, 
Teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. The second so, okay. half. I thought it was going to be like two, but. The tri -color turf war. Really? Three colors? So, it's a special that's mode interesting. Where... Whoa! Three teams fight yeah. at the same time! Three. All players on the team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. Two players each from the second really? and third what? place teams will attack the first so, uh, place team from opposite ends of the stage. Can the are you, leading team are you, are defend you themselves? Working together with or the other the team, other or teams exact revenge and okay, yeah, they out. are working together Use against the, the third team. I feel like that gets so confusing, though. While working alongside yeah. the members of Deep Cut. Okay. Okay, we're going to close out this presentation with an announcement from Deep Cut. Take it away. Okay, well that's fascinating. I assume it's gonna be like they're in the lead. Let's fuck them up before they go after each other. Yeah, pretty much. Seven days from the stream, currently. Okay, a pre release. Flat press. Three teams. I love that the big man only says A. I, I do not know this. Rock, paper, scissors. A, A. Okay, I see. Okay, he talks in parentheses. Hmm. I, like, I tell you, like, this is interesting. Since you got three, it's like, uh, I, I, I can see it. So, just like Splatoons 2, you got the gremlin, you got the waifu, but this time you got the big man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I keep seeing how it cracked a Japanese player on Twitters and I get terrified. Oh yeah, I think I saw a tweet talking about that. I mean... I don't know if you can play with people in your current region or something, but yeah. That's interesting. I don't know if I would really stream much Splatoon because I would That's probably begin the last stream today. delay. Or not. And now announcing the Splatoon oh. 3 Enter the Splatlands Invitational 2022 yeah, Tournament. When you defeat the Japanese this player, event will you take place the on practice. September 5th at PAX West. Uh -huh. Some of the top finishers from this summer's Splatoon yeah. 2 Inkopolis Showdown will head to Seattle and compete in North America's first ever Splatoon 3 Invitational. Okay. Follow the official Nintendo vs. Twitter oh. account for updates. And to see more of our research findings as we uncover oh. them, follow the official Splatoon North American Twitter account. We hope you'll have an incredible time starting September 9th. Bye bye! Uh -huh. Okay, well, that was Splatoon. Yep. Yeah, pretty much, uh, it's interesting. I can see that they're definitely just spoiling the player with a lot more stuff, which is great. Gotta, gotta love it. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I might stream it. Uh, I, I might pick it up digitally, though. That's for sure. Uh, it's like, with like most games like Splatoon, I feel like it would be a thing I would like want to... I, I don't know, it's, I probably would want to like open up digitally. Despite how cool the physical copies are, especially with games, but yeah. I don't know, I feel like I'm coming to a point where it's like, with certain games, that especially games that I would want to like replay, and without having to deal with the hassle of carrying around the game cards, yeah. Splatoon 2 is one of them. 
But yeah. But yeah, I can't really promise you customers I might play this immediately on launch since I wasn't too big of a Splatoon's fan. Like, I'm sorry to disappoint anyone here, but yeah. No, it looks great though, honestly. Like, they, I can definitely see how huge the place is. Like, that, that will definitely be interesting to check out. So yeah, that was Splatoon's 3 Direct.